In this video, you'll learn how to install and use the SmartSource Elite Series scanners, including the SmartSource Pro Elite, Expert Elite, Pro Elite Plus, and Elite 55. These scanner models share the same mechanical parts, with the exception of the additional Ethernet and USB ports present on the Expert Elite and Pro Elite Plus models shown at left. Part 1. Initial Setup The package contains a smart source scanner, power supply with detachable wall cord, USB A to B type cable, an instruction manual, and an inkjet cartridge. Newer model Elite Series scanners can easily be identified by the gray front ID card feeder pictured at left and have several important differences in operation and maintenance that we'll discuss later. After unboxing the scanner, please do not plug it in until after you have installed your bank's deposit software, which contains the device drivers. All Elite Series scanners are equipped with either a one-line or a four-line inkjet endorser. Start by unwrapping the included inkjet cartridge and removing the protective label as shown. Be sure to remove the tape covering the print nozzle. Remove the center cover and set it aside. Gently pull the blue lever as shown to release the ink cartridge housing. Insert the ink cartridge into place, making sure the top is level. You should hear an audible click when it's seated correctly. Once you have installed your bank's deposit software, you can plug in the scanner, starting with the power cable, followed by the USB cord, and finally plugging the USB cable into your computer. You are now ready to use your scanner. Part 2 Scanner Operation Turn the scanner on by pressing and holding the power button for several seconds. Blue light indicates the scanner is powered on, while a red light indicates the scanner is on but not detected by the host PC. Before using the scanner, make sure the floor extender and exit pocket limiter are fully extended as shown. Be sure to prepare your documents by straightening the bottom edge and the leading edge until they are aligned as shown. This will help prevent misfeeds and paper jams. A solid blue LED light indicates that a scanning operation is in progress. Insert the documents as shown and they will feed automatically. Newer Elite Series models, made in approximately 2020 or later, use a front ID feeder, whereas older models feed from the rear. Insert the ID card with the front facing outward and the scanner will feed and return it. Insert ID cards in the same outward facing orientation for rear feed scanners. There may be a short delay between when the card is inserted and feeding begins. Part 3. Clearing Jams to eject stuck documents from the track, hold down the power button for at least two seconds. This is usually sufficient to clear most paper jams. For more difficult jams that do not clear using the button press, you may open the covers and pull the check out gently by hand. Some checks will come straight out the feeder with a gentle pull, or you may try pulling upwards at a slight angle no more than 45 degrees. Please do not pull the document straight up as this may cause it to become caught in the rollers and tear off inside the paper track. Part 4. Rapid Cleaning A solid or flashing purple LED indicator means the scanner is due for cleaning. Your scanner will function normally while this indicator is on, although its performance may deteriorate over time if not cleaned. Pressing the power button three times in a row will activate automated cleaning mode. Insert a digital check cleaning card into the track like you would insert a check. The scanner will scrub the inside of the paper track automatically on the first pass only. After that, flip the card end over end and top to bottom on subsequent passes. After about six to eight passes, the power button will turn blue, indicating that cleaning is over. Wait one to two minutes before using the scanner again to allow sufficient time to dry. To clean older model scanners without the automated cleaning feature, 
Simply open your bank's deposit program and run the cleaning card through several times like an ordinary check. It's very important to make sure that any inkjet endorsing function is turned off before cleaning this way. Older Elite Series models can make use of the automated cleaning feature with a firmware update. Contact us for details. Discard the old cleaning card when you're finished using it. These are single-use cards not designed to be used again. Part 5. Detailed Cleaning You may wish to clean the camera glass by hand if there are spots or streaks on your images and a regular cleaning with a card does not get rid of them. Gently wipe up and down on and around the camera glass with a digital check cleaning swab or an alcohol wipe. Be sure to wipe the glass first before moving on to the plastic parts around it. If you are experiencing repeated paper jams or double feeds, you may need to address the feed rollers or the separator. The separator is a triangular blue piece that makes sure only one check at a time can pass through the scanner. If it becomes dirty or worn, it can be rotated to a fresh side as shown or replaced with a new separator. Feed rollers in brown can easily be lifted out as shown and cleaned if dirty or replaced if they become too worn. Replacement rollers and separators can be purchased online from the Digital Check web store. You can clear dust and debris from the scanner's paper track using a can of compressed air. Be sure the nozzle is always pointed towards the front of the scanner so that the dust and debris are blown out. Ink may accumulate on the rear wall of the scanner near the endorser. When cleaning this area, it's wise to remove both the ink check cartridge and the endorser felt pad located inside the scanner wall. To remove the endorser felt pad, release the tab on the side while simultaneously pulling down with your thumb as shown. Be gentle so as not to break the scanner cover. The pad can be removed and replaced if it's become oversaturated. When you're finished cleaning this area, reinsert the endorser felt pad from the bottom as shown until it clicks into place. Part 6. Replacing the Ink Cartridge Press the blue latch as shown to release the housing and gently lift out the old ink cartridge. Repeat the process in reverse to insert the new cartridge. You should hear a click when the new cartridge is properly seated. Close the top latch to relock the printer carriage housing. Visit www.digitalcheck.com for product information and training tips. Order supplies online at store.digitalcheck.com.